when life throws you a curveball. Ball, when life throws you a curveball. Hello y'all, I'm Diana Brianne, and I got to thinking today about when life throws you a curveball. It's an expression, it's an idiom, at least one that we always used. And that kind of means when it throws you something that you weren't ready for, that you weren't prepared for, you weren't counting on happening, and it just kind of maybe came out of the blue, so to speak. So what do you do when life throws you a curveball? Well, you throw it right back at life. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes that's not always easy to do, but you got to get through whatever you're going through and you got to give it your focus and give it your very, very best. And that often includes assessing the problem, assessing the issue, assessing what the curveball is, getting over the stunned feeling of what just has happened and making right decisions to move forward. Sometimes life does throw us curveballs. It can come in any kind of form. It can come in the loss of a job, the loss of a relationship, sickness, financial uh, chaos. Um, it can really be just about anything. Something that we were not prepared for, something that we did not expect, or something maybe we kind of thought was going to happen, but really we didn't think was going to happen, so we really didn't prepare for it, or we didn't even know how to prepare for it. This is Grandma's Porch for those of you that haven't seen it. Now, normally I sit out here and do my videos, but I can't do it today, or I don't want to do it, I should say, because it's a bit chilly. I did go for my, my five-mile run which was awesome out there I so enjoy that and uh, yeah but life can throw people curveballs and it's usually not a good thing um, life can also throw you opportunities and if you're ready for those opportunities that's a great thing you know a lot of times people are not ready for their opportunity and the opportunity comes by but it passes them by we have to be prepared we have to prep ourselves for the opportunity that we want so that when that opportunity does come through it will gravitate onto us and yet um, when life throws us a curveball we don't want a curveball we don't want one of those things to happen to us and uh, you know when someone loses their job that can be a pretty rough experience and or if they get a diagnosis of some kind and they go oh my gosh I got a diagnosis so what do you do you make right decisions you make the best decisions you don't have to make perfect decisions in most cases and you don't have to expect more from yourself than you can give and you don't have to necessarily solve the problem all at once sometimes it comes in steps and stages and sometimes that's many steps and stages sometimes we don't even know what to do sometimes we don't even know what direction to take sometimes we don't even know um, how to solve it. Sometimes we're scared. Sometimes we're just mixed up, you know, when life throws you a curveball. And so the thing is, is to sort out our emotions. Let us get through the process of un trying to understand it and assimilate it and digest what has happened. And then trying to make really, really great decisions, gathering right information. Remember, not all information is right information. Not all suggestions should we act upon, even if they're well-meaning. We have to act upon the right suggestions, the right advice, the right information information, the right decisions from our own selves so that we make the very best informed decisions. Sure, we can all look back in hindsight and go, woulda, coulda, should of, And that's really not a good thing to do because we usually make the best decisions that we can make at that time that we're making them with the information that we have. Always in hindsight, can we look back and, and think about ways that we could have done things differently. But when we're actually within the problem itself, sometimes all we can do is make the best informed decision that we can or decisions that we can, taking it a step at a time and holding on, keeping the faith, keep believing, surrounding ourselves with comfort people, people that may not have the answers, but they can comfort us in some way. And I believe in comfort people. I have a lot in my life and I'm a comfort person as well. That bowl of soup, that hot bowl of soup or a hot cup of tea sitting out on grandma's porch with me is a comfort person. And I hope that even my videos coming on here, which are never suggestions, never ideas, never um, never advice, they're just my way of living life and I share that with you. Um, I hope I provide that kind of comfort person to everybody out there. Just somebody, someplace you can go, come into my channel and 
and saying hi and listening to what I have to say is, I hope, comforting. And uh, But remember, um, sometimes we just put one foot in front of the other and keep on going, making the best decisions that we can. From my house to yours, may God bless you, and I hope to talk to you all soon again. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.